Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shankar De and this is 7th video of today's discussion NEET PG 2021 recall question. So let's start with question number 61. The last structure encountered during lumbar puncture. What is the answer of this question? This is very easy question and the answer is among the options arachnoid. As you know, what are the structures that is pierced during lumbar puncture from superficial to deep? First of all, it is skin, then superficial fascia, superficial fascia, then supraspinatus ligament is there, supraspinatus ligament, then interspinous ligament, interspinous ligament, then ligamentum flavum, ligamentum flavum, after ligamentum flavum, it's dura mater. Next, arachnoid mater. And in the subarachnoid space, you will find CSF. So the last structure encountered during lumbar puncture to obtain CSF is nothing but arachnoid among the options. The last structure pierced. Next question number 62. A patient is undergoing surgery where he maintain on halothen. So patient is undergoing surgery where he maintain on halothen. The patient develop severe hyperthermia. This point is important. Severe hyperthermia and muscle rigidity during the procedure. Which of the following agent would have also contributed to this? What is the diagnosis? What is the diagnosis? So the case is diagnosed to be a case of malignant hyperthermia. So this is a case of malignant hyperthermia. Severe hyperthermia, muscle rigidity like masseter spasm, hyperthermia is feature of malignant hyperthermia. So which of the agent would have also contributed to this among the options given on yesterday's exam? The answer will be succinylcholine. So or succamethonium. So succinyl choline would have contributed to malignant hypothermia in this case. Next question number 63. A 30 year old patient intubated for surgery and the best way to confirm the position of ET tube definitely it is capnography, entitled CO2. Capnography. Next question number 64. The procedure shown in the image. As you can see the procedure, this is nothing but chin. So, we are, so here the doctor is lifting the chin along with tilting his head. So, this is nothing but very known and popular procedure. Chin lift, head tilt. So, this procedure is chin lift, head tilt chin lift head till and sometimes it is also an associated with jaw thrust that is called triple maneuver chin lift head tilt and jaw thrust jaw thrust the pressure is applied here in the angular mandibular region angular mandibular region to make the airway patent this is jaw thrust but this is chin lift so the procedure shown here is chin lift head tilt Next is a young male was given regional anesthesia with 0.25% bupivacan. This point is important. 0.25% bupivacan. The patient become unresponsive and pulse become unrecordable. So following regional anesthesia with bupivacan, the patient become unresponsive and pulse become unrecordable. This may be due to this bupivacan toxicity. So, what is the best management for this condition? For this condition, best management will be among the options given will be chest compression, chest compression with intralipid injection, chest compression with intralipid injection. This is the best management for this case. Next question number 66. A patient underwent radical mastectomy. 
after three months she presents with the following finding what is the diagnosis see the image carefully compare the size of the hand between left hand and right hand as you can see radical mastectomy was done in left side so left side radical mastectomy was done three months ago and following this the patient presents with swelling of left upper limb so this is nothing but because of the post mastectomy lymphedema so this is post mastectomy left upper limb lymphedema left upper limb lymphedema in chronic cases it may progress to lymphangiosarcoma in that case the color of the hand will be changed Stuart Treff syndrome Stuart Treff syndrome but this case up to just after three months just presence with the swelling this is a case of post mastectomy lymphedema so the answer is lymphedema next question number 67 a man sits on his house balcony naked every day so this point is important okay house balcony naked every day next opposite of one park during evening when the park is congested with local people neighbors complained about this to the police what is the diagnosis it is one type of sexual perversion and the diagnosis is nothing but exhibitionism so exhibitionism is the diagnosis in this case so very easy question exhibitionism next question number 68 a child is presented with multiple loose stool so loose stool he is managed with ORS glucose in the ORS is absorbed via which transporter in GIT so glucose is absorbed via which transporter in GIT so glucose in the ORS is absorbed in the GIT via sodium dependent glucose transporter sodium all of you know the glucose is absorbed in the GIT by sodium dependent glucose transporter now the question is which one either SGLT1 or SGLT2 SGLT1 or SGLT2 SGLT1 is preferentially present in GIT and SGLT2 predominantly present in kidney so here the question is ORS in the glucose Oh, glucose in the ORS absorbed by which transporter in GIT it is definitely SGLT1 so the answer will be SGLT1 not SGLT2 so sodium dependent glucose transporter 1 one type of passive one type of secondary active transport this is secondary active transport secondary active transport next question question number 69 a patient presents with right-sided vision loss the diagnosis among the options given on yesterday's examination the answer will be nothing but left optic tract I I forgot to raise three options left optic tract will be the best right option for this question left optic tract presents with both right sided vision loss because in left optic tract you know in case of left optic tract left sided nasal fiber and left sided temporal fibers and right sided nasal fiber goes through the left optic tract if there is any lesion then nasal vision field vision is lost from left side and temporal vision is lost from right side so this is right sided vision loss right sided vision loss homonymous homonymous hemianopia so right sided homonymous hemianopia occurs because of left optic tract lesion next question number 70 mechanism of action of methotrexate this question was simple straightforward the answer will be competitive methotrexate competitively blocks which enzyme yes the enzyme is dihydrofolate reductase 
so the answer will be it completely blocks dihydrofolate reductase so this is the answer of this question so i have discussed 61 to 70 question here in the next video i am going to discuss question number 71 to 80 subscribe my channel i will upload more videos with more subscribers on my next video so subscribe my channel press on the bell icon and stay tuned for the next video thank you for watching